What's up, guys? Welcome to the episode three, like my producer told me to say, of the Deep Service Podcast. Listen, it's been a, a doozy. And as you can see, everybody in here, they look amazing, man. Everybody give yourself a hand for looking so good, man. And listen, this guy right here, Tap, my goodness. Oh, Tap, why are you doing it like that? Hey, listen, <laughs> I told you guys last time, it wasn't going to happen again. You're not going to out show me out. This is just not going to happen. And um, also, let me give a shout out to uh, Kay Gerard. Yes, who's sir. My, who's my um, yes, tailor. Yes, sir. You know, he keeps yes, me fresh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And every, for everybody who doesn't know Kay Gerard, that's Keegan's clothing line. Um, this guy made my uh, wedding jacket and many more like this and extremely talented. Absolutely. And, and you can see the talent in the men in this room and the men even across America. And, and, and it just needs a spotlight shine on it. But what I want to do before we get started with a lot of our topics, uh, when I got started, before I even came to this podcast, Tap, Keegan, Mark, the rest of my guys, um, I, there was Black Man Speaks. And, and God gave me a sort of a, a word for black men to, to really push forward. So I want to put out a challenge. Tap, can I do that? Sure. I'm going to put on my glasses because I can't hardly see. Mm -mm. So I want to read, it, it reads this. Dear black man, you are the strong, smart, and beautiful human beings. You are the direct embodiment of Marcus Garvey, view of self-reliance and passion. You are the manifestation of Malcolm's urge for economic power and leadership. You are the heart of MLK for love, peace, and equality for all men. Sadly, we have been victims of police brutality, ignorant stereotypes, marginalization, and discrimination. We must take responsibility, though, for our negative perceptions, such as fatherless homes, violence, and on some occasions, tap, our fail to unify to create change. There's so much work to be done in our community in order to see our ancestors' dreams become a reality. A small gesture is, uh, reaps a large impact. What I mean by that is, this is what I want us to do, guys. And the challenge from the beginning was simple. Well, if you see a black man on the street, if you see him at the gym, if you see him wherever at the church, stop me mugging. Go speak to him. Ask him how his day is going. I talked about it, Keegan, on, a, on, a, on our last podcast that we, as we transition. We suffer in silence because we feel like the only way, the, nobody else in the world is suffering this type of persecution or whatever, you, or whatever storm you're dealing with, but me. And a lot of us do that. We don't have anybody to talk to. There's not a lot of avenues for, for black men to go and, and lay their burdens down. So you be the change, black men in this room, black men across the country, across the world that you want to see. That's the responsibility we have, Keegan. Tap, that's the responsibility. Tap, what do you think about that challenge? I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. Um, I think in doing that, I think we can break down a lot of the, the negative stereotypes we have, even within our own culture. Because um, a lot of times, um, you know, that's a, especially, you know, I'm originally from New York, so that was more of a defense mechanism for me to just not, you know, speak to people, to kind of mean mug, maybe speaking a little bit too much. Um, do, you feel like, do you feel like it challenged your masculinity? To speak or to just to be speak? overly friendly, to, to, to engage in conversation. And I, I go, Mark, what do you believe? Why do, why do black men not speak to each other? Why do, we, why do we walk around suffering the way we do instead of coming together? Why don't black men uh, just do that? Why do we do that? Um, publicly, I think we don't do it because it does make us feel soft. You're a victim now. You just spoke to me. You didn't know me. <laughs> Yeah. Do it in the wrong part of the neighborhood. Now you get ready to get tried. Well, see, yeah. Once again, that's that New York mentality. Right there. That's yeah, not that's in the real. South. It's not that's like real. that down here. No, that's real. And I said that's a perception. Yeah. It may not be reality, but right. it is perception. Oftentimes our perception mm -hmm. is our reality. But I think it should be done more often. Yeah. I think it is important so that we can break down those stereotypes and those barriers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think that's strong. Mm -hmm. Brandon, I want to come to you, Brandon, for a second. Go ahead. Thing about that was, you know, community. The real word is commune. Come on now. Let's yeah. commune with each other, right? Civilization. The word is civil. Let's be civil with one another. There's some basic 
I would say, thinks about being a person and being with another person, because we're meant to be companions, mm -hmm. right? So we've just been built to hate each other. It's part of the nature now. It's in your DNA, right? And so it might be a defense mechanism because you might be called weak. Mm -hmm. We take that and run with it because you've been shown that that man is your enemy when he's not. Absolutely. And we take it and we eat it like it's breakfast. You know? Brandon, where do we get that thinking from? Um, <clears throat> that we have to be careful not to bear everything that we're fighting against, which is a stereotype, seems to work on us. You know, we believe stereotype. So as a result, we may walk around with a mean mug when we see someone that looks like us um, <clears throat> or, or, you know, feel like we can't. You know, walk up and tap up somebody we don't know that looks like us because what have we been what have we been shown on TV and sometimes you, you see it you know you've seen it in person but majority of the time is on television you see us robbing or killing or whatever mm. does that you know is that stereotype working on us is that the reason we do that wow. you know go ahead Ivan I, I think it um, I think it stems from a little bit deeper than that I think it stems from how we actually got to this country and how we actually were treated in this country and how we were just pulled apart and separated. So it automatically started us to actually be able to separate ourselves from within. And because we found ourselves separating ourselves from within, when we walk past one another, we don't look at them like, hey, that's my brother. We look at them like that might be a challenge and it shouldn't feel that way. It shouldn't be that way. Um, you know, and I really feel like that's one of those things that oppression has actually caused us to actually continue to carry that stigma, mm -hmm. which keeps us from being able to come together and actually be able to be the unit that we need to be for this country and for our own community. So who want to add something to that? I do, because Steve, you, you gave us a challenge. So the question is, why do we need a challenge mm. as a culture, right? So. Asian hate. You never saw an Asian say that they were not being, you know, prejudiced against or attacked, right? Jewish folks, they say the same thing over and over and over. Anti-Semitism. They don't change the, they don't change the narrative. Um, Middle Eastern people, we're all terrorists, you're all Jews bad. Everyone has one message and sticks together. But we can't agree on reparations. We can't agree on police brutality. Why do we need a challenge? We, don't, we shouldn't need a challenge, is my point. We shouldn't need a challenge. Why are we there, Mark? Why are we, what Keegan just said, why are we at that place? And how do we get to the place to where we don't need a challenge? Where we don't need a pep talk? Where we don't need somebody to tell us, hey, go do this, or encourage us to do something? Why aren't we just motivated by who we are? I believe there are pockets of us that are motivated by who we are. However, I don't think our message is being heard because the one thing we lack that all of those cultures that Keegan pointed out do not lack is the unity of the dollar. To me, it comes back to economics. Come on now. And if we were united in that stance, the world would take us a little more serious. We would make differences on different platforms and be heard on different platforms if we could unite on that basic platform. Why are we so disconnected from understanding that economics is a way forward? Because a large part of our culture has never had, we grew up with nothing. As we like to say, we were so poor, we couldn't afford the OR, so we just was poor. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> the thing is, so when we have a simile of it or something that looks like money we are immediately want to have that gratification. We want to go for the clothes, the cars, and not even the credits for a lot of people. It's just the look of, we made it. I could buy it, we made it. So you'll have people, like we're here in Charlotte, so you have people that own the university area, the Concord area, all of those was black families that owned that land. Really? Oh, absolutely. The university does. And absolutely. they sold that land because they weren't taught that wealth is really built through owning land. So they, their families couldn't pay, you got black families that their parents leave them land, they lose it because they don't pay the taxes. So they don't pass on the things that matter because it's not self-gratifying, it's not gratification, instant. Instant gratification. Uh, let me ask you a question real quick. Go ahead. Okay, listen, <clears throat> go back to what 
you guys are talking about. I'm from the South. I'm from strictly from here, from the South. Talk up. I'm from the South. I'm strictly from here. I want to get back to what is poor. I mean, that word, right? Poor. Do you understand, like, harvesting your own food? Mm. Not having a grocery store? So you guys from up top. You can walk up the block and get what you need. You can have a chance to rob somebody. You know, walking around in the country, man, you got to have a 12 gauge. You have skinheads. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You living off the land. You go on walking a mile up the street to borrow sugar. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll take a snapshot of that, right? That's where I'm from. I'm last of 23 kids. My dad. Right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not gonna skip past that. <laughs> hey, my mom and dad. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. Well, you said the last of how many kids? Twenty-three. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're not gonna slide past that. Like you didn't say twenty-three kids. Not be tabled at four. When you when you talking about underprivileged, not having, wearing hand-me-downs, I can go deeper, but it's day one here on the podcast. Go mm. real deep, right? Mm -hmm. So. Take a snapshot of that, right? And let's go to Argentina on the western side, where these kids don't have absolutely nothing. Yeah. They may not have a roof in their in their houses. There's no running water, uh -huh. right? They look at us as selfish people because we're able to live off the government's welfare and not make that work. You understand what I'm saying? Do you know they don't even make six, seven thousand dollars a year True. in third world countries? True. And I know this, man, because I played in these countries. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I used to get a shirt off my backs because I was brought up poor wearing hand-me-downs. You dig know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And making that stuff work. Not having a washing machine, but you're washing your clothes outside and you hang it up in the clothes line. You dig know what I'm saying? So you got to, when you're speaking of saying the word poor, what is that? To your so, point. so can I respond go, since go ahead. I said I made go that ahead. statement? Go ahead. The totality of the content is your comparison that you see every day. Yes. Come on. So that's good. When you compare poor uh -huh. to someone that's living in Charlotte, you compare it to the people that you go to school with every day. Uh -huh. You don't uh -huh. compare it to Africa or Argentina. Respectfully, in that comparison, you compare it to the cats that's coming in with the Jordans on their feet, uh -huh. and your mother can't buy you Jordans. Right. You compare it to the that's fact good. that you got to wear the same jeans uh -huh. two and three times a week, and somebody else comes in. That's the relative nature that most people compare it to what you see on a daily basis in and out so when i said we was poor i share the same things you do jay on some of those stories i was the youngest of four boys and everything i wore until i was like 14 15 was something that one of my older brothers already had yeah. so and you're right we were still doing better than some people that couldn't do that but in a youth or a young adult's mind you're comparing it to the best not the least so being poor is subjective so mindset. It, it's based no. on based on proximity, based on what your situation is. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, but and I, but still, the point he made about <clears throat> definition of poor, because you would think he made two great points about harvesting your own food out of a garden, and going to the street and actually getting sugar from your neighbor, right? So you think that has a poor characteristic, when in fact, mm -hmm. to harvest for the grain of the own land. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. There's ownership in that. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. To go to the street and actually borrow sugar from a man tap, that means I am a community. We're not sharing resources, mm -hmm. which every other culture does. So that's not poor living, actually. Mm -hmm. But it goes back to the point of why you guys are top not speaking. We spoke for a purpose. No question. We're leaning on one another. No question. We're living, living off the land. No question. So it's a, it goes back to, to generation curses, the yep. mindset. But the comparison to that is down here, if I say what's up to tap, he won't shake me. Up there, I say what's up to my man, he's like, what's I shoe you with? Right, right. That's exactly how, because I grew up in New Jersey, project, so that's exactly how it was. Right. You're getting, you get, you're running them pockets. And, yeah. and, them pockets. and, and also, too, as well, and we talk about other countries, I, I like to shy away from that a little bit. You kind of touched on it a little bit. Black folks have been suffering over here for a long time, and nobody comes to our rescue. But there have been infomercials on TV for the <laughs> long as I can live about feeding African kids. Mm -hmm. I do not have a problem with doing that. Not at all. But you don't supply the the standard the, the average median income for the standard in America, which now is w white America. Their standard, one hundred and seventy-seven thousand per per household. I think one forty-four, something like that. You can you can Google it. That's the median. Yeah, the median income. 
they able to take advantage of everything that America has to offer. When we talk about poor, we're not judging other countries or where other people are not. We're judging our proximity, the world that we see day in and day out, day in and day out. That's how we judge poor. And I think, it, I think black folks now need to understand that, listen, we have to take care of our own and looking out and seeing who doing worse or who doing better. It's about us uh -huh. and only us until we get to the place to where we need to be. Now, speaking Mr. of Mr. us, Steve, hold ahead. on for a second. I, I want to come back to what, what Jay said, because I think it's important that we actually bring some context to it. So it's not only just a comparison to what that happens in third world countries, but how do you make $7,000 a year work for you? There's a stewardship there, is it not? Absolutely. There's a stewardship there, but it's also to their, their economy. Depends on yeah, what cost yeah. of living is. Okay, yeah. yeah, I'm with you. I'm I, I with you. Want, and I want, and I want, the reason why I'm saying there's, there's the only reason why I'm saying it because I don't want to. I want to make sure that black folks are not discredited or compared. No, to. I'm not doing it. Okay, that. I'm not I doing that. Make sure. What Go I'm ahead. saying is there are some things that we can we can learn. Here's my point. Our goal. I'm not saying our goal. I shouldn't say that. I think we look at white folks' standard and we pursue that. But I see every other culture in this country thriving. We won't do what they do. I, I, and here's the difference between every other culture and us. Mm. Their identity wasn't stripped. You're right. But uh, that, I'm, I'm talking to you. Hold on, hold on, Steve. No, no. you interrupted me. Hold on. Slow, 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 slow down. Slow down. Their identity slow wasn't stripped. Slow down. Slow down. Go ahead. We've known this story for how long? At some point in time, we're going to say uh, 200 years later, well, this is what happened to us. As some, we got to understand it happened. I know it did. It happened, yeah, and bro. You got to understand. It, I know things happen, but I get it. But it takes time to get to the place. We're just now getting to the place. Well, think about it. We can get all these men in a room and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about yep. it. There, it was 200 years. You got to think about what happened in those years. There was complete, like I just talked about it, marginalization. Mm -hmm. They would take things from us. We just watched the documentary yeah. on Tulsa. Mm -hmm. What we had it, we were doing it. it. It's never been the case of our work ethic. Mm -hmm. That's been a narrative. It's been a case of them coming in and taking what they want because they had the power and they had to make no mistake about it. He who has the biggest gun makes the rules in this land. And they proved it over and over. That's not true no more. It may not, not no That's more. That's not true no more. I ain't gonna say no more, but okay. That's not true no more. That's, Let me tell you something. I, I ain't gonna say no hold more. On, hold on. They every, still got the biggest guns. No, every power, every power pillar in this country has dollars, not guns. But but what I'm saying is the, that's how you rule with guns. No. Nah. And, and if you didn't have nah. violence against me back then, it wouldn't be all of this stuff that was going on. I'm not talking about right now. Yeah, but even right now, now they still got they right own now, the military. Guns don't everything. run anything no more. I, I go ahead, go I, ahead. I understand what Steve's trying to say because if I don't have the money. I'll come and find a way to take it from you by any means necessary. How do we see that translate into today's society? Police brutality. How many young lives have been completely crippled and broken down at the hands of an actual gun? We don't know what that person or what that individual's life would have actually turned out to be. How much could they have actually helped fill in that wealth gap? So, because that's taken place, I do understand the point that he's making. Also, we also can't be the excuse. We of course, can't yeah. keep we can't keep we can't keep rubber banding on the excuse of it. Because at some point in time, we gotta grow up. And I think it, it too, I don't even, I don't even know if it's rubber band, I don't know if it's an excuse. If you don't know how to and listen, if you if nobody ever showed you how to get out of a, a situation, you won't ever get out of it. Yeah. If no if you've never if you've never I, I want to respond to I want to respond to that. Okay. I've been blessed to have a mentor to people around me to help show me the way. You've been blessed. You've been blessed, but every kid from the hood has not been blessed. Right. Every kid that's been shot down by ignorance has not been blessed. All I'm saying is all I'm saying is this. We are taking responsibility for what goes on in our community, but we must not we must not negate what happened to us and the 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 if refutable damage that is done to us. Yeah. It's all I'm saying. It's done a lot of damage, years and years and years of programming that they, they didn't. Our bodies was a temporary enslavement. It was our minds that they wanted. So quick question. I, go, go go ahead. Quick question. Then you go ahead, Brandon. Here's, here's one. Here's here's one. I'm not saying nobody's seen a lot, but I, I definitely have in my soon-to-be 48 years. Uh, a hell of a lot. Talk up, bro. 
Um, what I would say, here's what I'm doing with my kids. Here's just where I'm at, right? When I get it, I get it. Uh, um, KKK burning across in our yard back in the day because we were farmers, taking my grandfather's machinery away. We, we lived through all that. Here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to pass that down to my two seats. Mm. I'm moving forward. Mm. Because the fact that Chance live in eight different countries, man, I have a chance to see other people oppressed, other people go through many, many measures and extremes that I experienced, and they're surviving. They're moving on. What I would say is we deal with it as men and women. We talk through this. You know what I mean? We we're very prideful. I would say, don't forget your history. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't forget your history. But we got to some point move, move forward. On some people don't know their history. I, I got, I got that's, all, that's all I'm saying. Some people, and we can't discount that fact. But I'm Steve, go Steve, hold on, hold on. That's an indictment on us then. Right and what we try to do is blame white people. I don't know, I'm not hold blaming on, anybody. Let me, let me, let me finish. That's an indictment on us because that's our responsibility, right? So you said that we don't know how to. There's plenty of playbooks. Some of us. There's plenty of playbooks. Asians have lending um, groups to help with money. Jewish people will only do business with Jewish people. Hispanic folks have their own grocery stores. Of course. Right? We have the playbook. We look at them and do what they do. We just won't want to do it. Because here's, here's, my, point, here's my point. So let me give you some real examples. Not okay. this innuendo. So James Corden has a, uh, has a little uh, show. He does something called Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts. Right? He's been mocking Asian food for the past, I'll say, maybe a year or so. They push him back on it now. 40,000 signatures on the petition, literally in about a month, to get him to stop doing that, right? When Ray Rice had his issue with NFL and beat his girlfriend up in the elevator, not, not, not saying that it, wasn't, it was right, he lost everything. Solo, Hope Solo, a white female soccer player, beat her girlfriend up, beat her brother up, and did not lose her Nike endorsement, right? Of course. At some point in time, we got to say, you know what? We're not going to stand for it. We're not going to look nobody else to save us. Stop looking for a savior. He's in heaven. When he comes back, it's all over. Until then, it's on us. Yeah, Key, I think... It's on us. I think, I think the thing about that is that we've had examples in the past where we took those mindsets and tried to galvanize together. Like you have a Tulsa type mm -hmm. of situation. And when we do get there, it gets a little frustrating, gets a little discouraging when we get everybody on the same page, on the same accord, and then that comes in with no repercussion, no regard or anything. Like you can blow, you can burn our cities up, mm -hmm. like that kill over 300 plus people, and we gotta start all over from scratch. Yeah. And so now what you're asking everyone is to come back together again and hope that white people don't shut us down like that again. Mm -hmm. And I think it gets a little discouraging. And I'm not even going to say just white people, white supremacy, the idealism. Well, I'm saying white, of, white supremacy. Just white right. supremacy. So, and, and the key, I don't, this, I, I listen, I believe in, I teach my daughter this, two things going to take you far in life. Respect and responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's going to take you far in life. I don't care how much money you got. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much success you have or how much success you don't, you don't have. If you respect people and you take responsibility for your action, you'll be fine. But that only, that only applies to, does that only I'm, apply to black people? No, 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 that doesn't. Does no, that no. apply to everybody else? It does, but what I'm saying is we're only responsible for ourselves. All I'm saying is, is that you have to acknowledge people's pain and you can't skip past it. We're not doing that. No, no, I'm not saying yeah, we're not. we're not doing that. No, what I'm saying is, I'm not, I know, what I'm, I'm talking about our pain. I'm not doing that. No, no. What you mean you're not, you're not, you're not acknowledging our pain? No, no, I'm not skipping past it. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying you, no, no, I'm not talking no, no, about you, I'm just saying yeah. in general, we, we can't skip over what happened. We have to acknowledge it and still move on. Two, both things can be true at the same time. You can be acknowledging and you can be um, taking responsibility. I agree. But there, there is a, there is, we didn't do this to ourselves. And we, that, that's a real thing. I didn't put myself in chains. I did not, I, I didn't oppress myself. I didn't, I didn't redline myself. I didn't, I didn't create an opportunity zone, then take advantage of it. I didn't do all of those things. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that slavery. I didn't do all of that. That happened to me. Yeah. And now I'm responsible right. for getting out of it. Give me a little time. And it Give me a little see right. what, Lebe, go ahead, tackle it your jacket a little good. It get <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Once again, let me give a shout out to my uh, my Taylor Keegan Gerard. Thank you, brother, I appreciate that. Thank you, But, man. you know, Keegan, another, on a, you know, even, even more current, you know, present day, you know, we got out there, especially, and I'm saying we, like our people in, in Georgia got out there 
and went to the polls and, and voted, mm -hmm. right? Look at all these new voting laws they got down no there. No doubt. Look at all that that happened. See, that gets states. frustrating. Yeah. Now we get galvanized to get out there to make a difference, to do certain things, and then we get hit with so many different obstacles still. Yes. Like, how much, how, how much do we have to persevere to kick down these walls to get through that? I don't see the yeah. Asians having to do that. Yeah. I don't see. And that's the I don't, so, I don't so, see so, other cultures ahead, that so, we so, name so, having to do those let me, same things. Let me respond. Let, 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 let me respond. Hold on, let, 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 let me go to Brandon. Let, let, I'm gonna come back to you, King. Okay. I was gonna say. Um, I think that's a good sign. I mean, when you're doing stuff right. Oh yeah. The enemy is gonna try to put a lot of hurdles up against you. Mm -hmm. We got it easy for a while. No laws. No voting. You know, restrictions. Now, you know, they gave us Juneteenth to distract us, and they're trying to. The all these voter blocks up for us, and you know, because of what happened in Georgia. Like, I think that's a great sign. We were talking about the challenge that we got. I think we're doing a lot of stuff right right yeah, now for the I, first I time in a long time. And reason being is because I think a lot of us come from households whether we're poor or not. Poor is a mindset to me. Yeah, yeah, that's I, good. I grew up with no no running water, but I have a ton of love in my mm -hmm. home, so I was rich. You know what I'm saying? So I was raised right. Um, taught a lot of basic stuff. I think a lot of us have been taught a basic stuff. Regardless of what we went through, mm -hmm. we got a lot of the right basic mentalities, you know, right from wrong. And and as a result, you get us in this room, you get what you get, you get people going to vote. I mean, you got people with good sense. And it's not to not the generation before us. I'll say like probably the people that were my dad's age or whatever, they were just concerned with getting the dollar, paying the bills teaching you the basics right. now we got to do better and we are doing better i feel like so mm -hmm. uh, and i just want to challenge a little bit what you were saying about we heading in the right direction how are we heading in the right direction if they have put so many opticals in our place so as many people that voted last time they're more than likely not going to vote hold on, hold on. Huh? No. that's an right. assumption though based on the certain right. on on the things that they have put in place mm -hmm. you can't bring people water in line you can't mm -hmm. Bring people food in line. You gotta. They're gonna be closing by a certain time, right. by five o'clock in the afternoon. Right. Now, come on. I mean, just yeah. common yeah. sense yeah. lets you know. Yeah. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go to AK for a sec. Go ahead. AK. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just saying if no impact was being made from that, and mm -hmm. those measures. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. We did something to raise the antennas on them. What I'm saying right now, they put things in place that is now law yeah. in Georgia. Correct. So now, by law. You can't do these things so, so now. We, so we should be completely discouraged. I'm not saying that, but it does get it does get discouraging course, after a while. Been, it's so been, so, so I'm a, to create other methods. To so but when we but when we also look at these other cultures and we see why they can be together they because they can be success they can have success and no one tearing down their success burned, well, they're not, exactly but they're not fighting against each other. Like you know, in Asia, it's mostly, it's mostly Asians. Here you got black, you got white. There's a lot no, of no, no, no. I'm saying here. Oh, here. The things okay. they're doing here. Asians doing here. Jews doing it here. You know what I'm saying? Other races doing it here. Like, Listen, that when jacket it, got you feeling. Oh <laughs> Once again, let me give you. another shout out to my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my tailor. We're going to just probably talk Keegan about jacket every segment. Because my yeah. goodness. But watch this. You are so <laughs> Speaking, I want to go here, though. I want to get on a little louder note because we're going to come back to that because it's going to get a little bit more heavier okay. later. Oh. Hmm. Later, mm. later, later. You want some more scotch? <laughs> so Katie had a historic series. Um, who we say? I don't know. Some people say he did have a historic series. Does this, and I know people, we got to talk about it. Don't be crazy. <laughs> Does this series that Katie had <laughs> prove the greatness of LeBron James. Why are we yeah, even talking about nah, LeBron? No, no, Why are we talking no, about LeBron? No, no, Why no, are we talking no, about no, LeBron? No, 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 you too quiet. Steve, I, I, yeah, yeah, the yeah, reason you're too quiet. That one more time. This is crazy. Does the, the, this He's series that Katie had proved the greatness of LeBron James. Absolutely not. And let me tell you why. Stop. Let me tell you why. I'm going to keep him and give like, you a chance. You got hey, proof hey, this? Everybody, Keith right here back here is my sparring partner. We spar every day. Please. So thank this guy. <laughs> Multiple times a day. The reason why I say that. I'm going to get my shoulders right. Too. You better. Because of, you better. Can you say you better it one more time? Your because of too. You better gird your loins. I need to make sure I got it. Did Katie 
Any series prove the greatness of LeBron James. Yes. Let me tell you why I say that. I've seen LeBron James carry post office workers, no disrespect to NBA players, oh, to the finals. Man. You mean all stars? I've seen LeBron James. You mean all stars? Win games that all-stars. nobody thought he could win. Yeah. Nobody what thought he can win. Which series did he won? He let bought me, nobody. Let me, let me help you, Steve. What let are you me talking about? I knew they was going to say 2007 finals. Let's talk about who's here. I forgot who this dude's name is. Larry oh, Larry Hughes. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Larry, Larry Hughes, Hughes wasn't a baller? What? what? Oh, oh, no. What's that? What's that? No, we're being disrespectful. Okay, let's forget him. Hey, what are we talking about? Larry Hughes was a baller. Hey, no, no, Drew Gooden. Drew Gooden was on that team. Drew Gooden wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. Drew Gooden was bad. Hold on. Hold on. Let him finish. Let him finish. He don't want to hear it. We're going to let him talk. We're going to let Jack talk. Go ahead. Maybe you can tell me who this guy is because I forgot his name. What's his name? I don't know. His picture is here. No, I don't want to read your phone. Yeah, you know his name? I don't believe your phone. You know his name? Glass. I don't know. I don't know. We do not know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You might be looking at it. We don't know. But, but, but listen, but hold know. on. Tap. Tap. This is tap. Do you disagree with the question I asked? He won the championship. Oh, let that tap finish. Like, don't like Sasha. So- uh, Who you Sasha saying? Sasha 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 Hold on for a second. No, that's tap. I want to get. Listen, Dude, I'm an equal Dude, opportunity. Oh, that's the one that Kobe won with. Oh yeah. I'm. I see you hating over there. But tap. Kobe won with him too. Do you agree with the question I asked? I do not agree. It had what and happened no with KD this fashion. year no had way. nothing to do with what happened with LeBron. None. Do you? Uh, okay, it's not even a close. Do you comparison. think the torch has been passed? It's been passed already. Ever do you since, think KD's ever since Booker uh, kicked him out in the first round? What are we saying? Mm. 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 Talk about Did that. you forget that? Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. forget yeah. LeBron's yeah. first round exit? Was his ankle not hurt? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You want me, the big violin or the little one? <laughs> Which one? Was AD, was AD Which one? Was, uh, we saw what was happening when they were at eight percent AD. Well, LeBron I thought that LeBron, LeBron could take a team that with no stars. I know, right? No, so I now know, he right? can't. I know. Now so he can't. Right? KD okay, had okay, another okay. MVP on his team go. at the same time with one leg. Oh, where? With one leg. Where was he at? With one leg. You forgot James Harden. With one leg. With one leg. All five of all five of Brooklyn Nets. James Harden was healthy. Five draft picks. James Harden was healthy. And I'll wait for you to research that. James Harden was healthy. Five. I'm, I'm, I'm now, a, let, let's wait for you to go ahead. that. Go ahead, Brandon. Let me tell you what proves the greatest of the world. Go, go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, you better yeah, yeah, be careful. Is, listen. You better be careful. I need to check, check Mark's age, too. It's the fact that Mark Barron won in year 18 to Kevin Durant in his prime. Talk about it. We would never compare Washington Wizard, Michael Jordan, to anybody in his prime. They do it, though. They do it all the time. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they do it all the time. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Who did? They do it all the time. LeBron James, is Kevin Durant not in his peak right now? Yeah. Yes. All right, where is LeBron? He's in year 18 going on 19. Yeah, but hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change those hands up. Bring bring Kevin Durant's hand over LeBron. Yeah. Because he's a better player than LeBron. No, no, I'm saying in years. Right now, Kevin Durant is a better player than LeBron. Check his cup. Check his cup. Check his cup. Hold on. Let me pose this question. Hold on. I'm asking the question. Can you get this question? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Hold on. Let my guy ask the question. I just want to ask the question. Go ahead, Keegan. Don't y'all think it's pretty disrespectful? They were talking about a gentleman who was great, by the way, who is no longer in the playoffs. And you got guys who are putting their work right now in the playoffs. No. Can we talk about those gentlemen who are putting their work right now? Well, y'all talk about Jordan? So, yes. You mean talk about Jordan? Well, well y'all, 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 y'all do. Y'all, y'all, y'all got a problem talking about Jordan. Listen, I only wanted. Go ahead. Oh, the please, reason why. Please, go ahead. Please. I miss it. No one is trying to argue his greatness. But my point is, let him be on staycation right now. No, he done went three different places. What is he on? Staycation. Oh wow. Yeah, because he wants his boy. He wants his son. He wants his son. He was speaking that. Too, that son. Yeah, just, oh, I okay. Just okay. Right, let's up. Let's so we, I, I Devin about, Booker. Let's talk about listen, Devin Booker. We prove. We we prove the point about. But I want to go. But no, you didn't prove pro- nothing. Further no, than Devin Booker. For the facts, he didn't prove anything. Nothing at listen, all. Go LeBron James. Ja- listen, this is what I'll say. LeBron James is LeBron James, yes. and next year when he come back, we're going to see right. what's really up when his ankle ain't LeBron right. James is the only goal without do a killer. So I want to go here. Yeah. Get, before we get back in our topics, I want to go I want to go to somebody that's really been, that, that that's caught my eye, and I have to apologize. Trey Young, you're a superstar. Mm. Absolutely. Jeez. I'm going Jesus. to Jesus. Put the camera right up on me. Put the camera right up on me. Trey Young, Ice Trey. 
I apologize. Prison, I disrespect you. Prisoner you. of the moment. Yeah, I'm not dismissing. So How can you? Hold on. Can everybody give me a second? I want to turn right here. Jesus. No disrespect. No, with all disrespect. How can you say <laughs> a prisoner of the moment? You are when he's in the Eastern Conference Finals. What are you saying? What do you mean? What I'm saying? He's a suit. Anybody that makes it that far, we give him their flowers. Why are you not giving Trey Young his flowers? He has a hell of a year. Yeah. But you're saying he's a superstar. Yes! No, 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 all right, no. all right, everybody don't get superstar. If anybody, okay, I'm gonna go here right quick. No, no, AK, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go here. Go ahead. What is a superstar? I mean, he's playing on an elite level. So I, I agree with you in this sense that he's putting up superstar numbers, but for the time frame, after a great season, been solid his whole career for the. Yeah, 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 yeah I wanna go there. Yeah, That's all career, AK. AK. Check his stats. Yeah, he, what are his numbers? Two, two, three years in the league, he's been playing solid. He's having superstar numbers right now. Is he a superstar no outright? Way. Bro, no. get oh, some time. So, hold on, hold on. Do you, hold on. Right now, you're giving me Stephen A. Vibes that think that Devin Booker's going to be a superstar. All right, hold on. I'm going to come right back to you. Oh, do you think Luka's a superstar? No, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cut the camera. I actually agree with you. OK, go ahead. I actually agree with you. So go ahead. If we go to the numbers. All right, go numbers. We're going to get back. Before we get back into the heavy topics, we're going to just go. Go ahead, everybody everybody the, the last two Stop. years, everybody's a superstar. 2019, he averages 20, 29, 6, and 9 assists a game. Last this year, 25, 25 points oh, and 9 assists. Okay. This is Trey Young. Yeah. This is Trey Young. Ice Trey, right? And he just, and he just had 48 last night. Ice Trey, right? Ice and Luca hanged out in the first round. I'm going to say this, and hopefully we can end this conversation. I'm going to say this, and we hope we can end. We cannot give anybody a superstar without at least three to four years worth of work. Period. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be a superstar without okay. at least. We gotta have an average. We gotta have something to average to good versus the bad offense. Okay, superstar. Hold on, hold on, go hold on. Everybody, hold on for a second. Hold on, go, go, go. Keegan. So, 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 he brought this up for a reason. He's baiting me. He's baiting me. Here's my point. You're correct. So why do we quickly say that Luka Doncic is a superstar when he's not got? You're saying that right now. But the national right. media. Hold on, Steve. Hold on, Steve. He's, he's not a superstar. No, no. I agree. He's, he's not. He's a superstar. Up. There are going to be some brothers in this room right the now. Same Stop it. He's My man got two playoff series victories in his Nah, don't say that. Luka got none. I think. Hey, if y'all put on the back of that superstar, Mark, can I say this? Can we have some basketball integrity for a second? Sure. Sure. Just integrity. That's all I'm asking for. You have none. You have none. Have none. Neither huh? one of these kids. We go, we go, no, no. Hold on, I'm going to you in a minute. I'm coming right okay. to you. Okay. I'm coming right to you. <laughs> I, I'm going right to you. <laughs> all I want to do is, 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 is say this. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Believe bro. what you're seeing. You're seeing Trey Young. Yes. You're seeing Devin Booker. Yes. You don't just make it to conference finals because you had a couple of good games. True. You're also saying Paul George and Giannis too. Okay, I'm not denying that they're not superstars. You're not saying guys, Paul George is superstars. Let's keep it a buck. No, no, the not, standard is Paul super, George a superstar. And, and listen, guys, listen. Okay, let's ask a better question because questions always get you to the destination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Who is a superstar right now in the NBA? In the NBA? Superstar? Right now? Who's hey. a superstar? How many superstars do we have? A superstar in the I'm just asking. A superstar. Hold on a second. Are you talking about in the playoffs or just You should not even be in the league. In the league right now. Who's a superstar? Go, go, go. Go, 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 go ahead. My is in the league right now. That's a two-way player. Um... It's not too many to be honest with you. Um, maybe, I would wow. say maybe ten. Who are, who are two it's, not, it's not too many superstars. Not two way players. I would, not I would say. I would say. I would say. And this brother is down right now because he injured. I would say the number one superstar in my eyes, a two way player, is Kawhi Leonard. But it don't have to be a two. You don't have to be a two way. But, but if we if we if we're talking about superstar, you getting it done on both ends. Mm -hmm. But you can't get this thing. No, no. Don't get this thing. I didn't say a word. I didn't say anything. We're talking about Steph Curry as a superstar? No. Yes. 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 Yes.
is a superstar because he has oh, 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 man, oh, Listen, man. He, he has championship. He's a face in the NBA. And he has championships. He has championships and he's two MVP two MVP. Yeah. You name his MVP. But what I'm saying But what I'm saying to you is But what I'm saying to you is he's not a two way player. That don't have nothing to do with Hold on, let me hold on. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. This is Hold on, Mark. This is why I said no, the, plays the, the, the integrity <laughs> may. Yes, he does. Hold on for a second. This is why the integrity of the game, because we've had so many different criterias for what a superstar is. He said, box office. Steph Curry is not a superstar. No. I didn't say he was. Listen, hold on, box hold on, hold on. I'll give you the criteria. Yeah, I didn't, Man I didn't just say made he was. a valuable point. Go ahead. Today's NBA, they don't play defense. Oh, yeah. defense. Right. So, well, so I, I feel like I judging, I feel you. That's old school. Man, I'm going up with that's, 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 that's different that's packs. Packs. We're talking that's about right now. Packs. You kind of only look so, at the offensive side. When the scout comes to you, bro, when the scout comes to you, you want to see you play offense. If you train people, you train people. If they want you to say high level offense, and can you stop somebody? I don't care what's what well, you play. Well, everything's about point, evolving. Like, can I make a point? It, go ahead. Can I make go a point? Ahead, because, because, because me and Tap be in this, in this world about 90s basketball. And uh, in this world. No, I'll make a point. Make a point, Steve. I know, I know. I get it. I get it. From 1990, 2005, there was only, and I'm going to say it on camera. Let's talk about it. There was only one white man that won an MVP. Oh, wow. Steve Nash. 1990 and 2005, Steve Nash. Yeah. Yeah. He won, yeah. no, he Allegedly, won, no, the, he won. The, the 06 one, Shaq should have got. Shaq should have got, right? Yeah. The 05 one. Why is that? When you change how the game is called and played, you open up the actual game for guys who have less talent. Oh, wow. You can, who are you saying? Let's have a little bit No, you got to jump out of the water on that. You got to explain yourself. You got to explain yourself. Oh, I'm going to give you one. You're going to ask Scott on that. 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 Yes, please do. Go ahead. Because the way it gets being called right now, you can get a guy like Luka Doncic. To do what he's doing. Man, you gotta stop. Luca's gonna be Luca regardless. Stop that. I'm gonna go to the first one. I'm gonna go to the first one. I'm gonna go to the first one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nicole Jokic. Nicole, the, the guy who won the MVP this year? Yeah. Oh, he got it. You give me one cent, he can get a smoke two in the 90s. And I'll shut oh, up. Every last one of them. No, he wasn't. Nikola Jokic no, is a superstar. Who, 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 no, he's not. Man, no, he's not. No, he's not. Nikola Jokic can play. Hold on. No, he's not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. See, hold on. See it? Can no play. No and a superstar is different. Yeah. Thank Shooting three, scoring 26, 11, 27, 11, and 5. You can't just do that. Steve, Steve, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to listen. Steve, if I can't talk to you, I'm going you get a superstar. You get a superstar. You get a superstar. Hold on. I'm going to go. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get back. Let me, let me get tap criteria for a second. This is a criteria. For me, go to, criteria. to be a superstar, this is my criteria. You have to be box office. People want to see you play. It's Trey Young box office. You want to sell out. I'm just asking Trey Young box office. Okay, keep going. You, you, you have to going. have a high average. Yeah, Does he not have a high average? He has a high average. Keep going. And you have to be clutch. Is he not he clutch? clutch? No. No, he's you are let me, no, I didn't say no to that question. Let me change. Okay, let me change oh, I'm gonna ask you. Who you wanna check? Is he clutch? But then yes. let me. Have you seen him last night? Yes. Based on four years at least in the league. Let me just add that. that Go ahead. That's, that's the that's the you have your that's body work. But everything work, else. Your body of work has to have an average that we could take your highs and your lows. And when we average it all out, he you did. still are at Four years. Winning numbers or four years. Wins and losses. Numbers get you the numbers. So, all right. So, apparently. But you can't be so. You can't be a superstar if you are not box office. I get you that. So here's the thing. We're why not going to disagree with that. I get, once no, again, if people don't want to come see you play, play you're not a superstar. No, you are Kawhi not a superstar. Kawhi is a superstar. People no. do not like to see his game. But, no, they may not call him He's not a superstar. He's clearly a superstar. Kawhi Leonard is a superstar. He's clearly a superstar. Kawhi Leonard is not 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 a He's Tim Duncan. I don't know. All right, all right, here we go. He's Tim Duncan. Yep, that's true. That's true. That's true. So here we go. Hold on. Go ahead. The reason why Tap's a good barber is because he's a good 
because he can cut the same fade 20 times the same way. With excellence. With excellence. Can Trey Young continue to do this? Let's go no. I'm not saying he can. But we just don't know. Jimmy Butler last final was great. I know. At one point in time, Jimmy I Butler was a superstar, right? Steve, I know. I, know. I, know. I, know. I, know. I think I know. last year he was making the Luka ain't done it. He is. He is a superstar. He is a superstar. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right, all right. Here we go. Let's bring it back in. So here we go, guys. We're obviously not going to agree on the superstar thing. Everybody got their definition of what a superstar is. Since I'm talking, Trey Young's a superstar. But what I want to do is this. And, and King, I want to go to you. Mark, I'm going to go to you, too. Because your opinions are valuable. And I want to kind of get back into a ser more serious topic. Does black America need a leader? <laughs> Malcolm Martin? Garvey? Baldwin? Mm. Do we need a singular leader? Or how do we build a collective voice in our community that transcends our differences? Because we, we've talked about the separation. We talked about, Keegan, how we got to take responsibility. I talked about, come on, let us figure out, like, you know, what happened to us. What do we need to go forward in our community? Do we need a singular leader? Because when we had the Malcolms, when we had the Martins, when we had the Garvey's, when we had the WKB Du Boises. We, we felt more gap, felt more galvanized. I'm not saying we is because I wasn't here because I can't make a proclamation on that. What do we need to help us kind of to move the needle, Keegan? Uh, mm. it's, a, it's a big question. It's heavy. That is. It has layers. I'll start with this and what I can grab. I hope Mark can fill in. Um, I would say needing a leader and should we have one is two different questions right because strategically the question would be everyone we had that became a target mm. for either assassination or discrediting right so i've learned that when you put the plan on front street they come get it right so strategically if i'm playing chess now i don't want a singular leader now that means that everybody in the room right now must be a leader starting in your home <clears throat> mm. Then moving out to the community. That's good stuff. Right? That's good stuff. No, he hit right what I was going to say. Everybody in this room are leaders. And it takes us starting to form little groups yes. of packs to go out and galvanize other leaders. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I've been a big advocate of investment groups. We got what, 15, 20 cats in here? Yeah. If we started an And apparently they got money. If we start, they got plenty of money. I'm just saying. A lot of money. I'm just saying. We're going to go back to my Taylor. Hey, Jerome. If we started an investment group with the cats that's in here, $100 a month, everybody got disposable. Not everybody, but most people have $100 disposable income. That's $1,500 a month. Oh. If you took that $1,500 and Put it in the account over a year you're talking about what eighteen thousand dollars that this group would have access to in 10 years it's hundred eighty thousand dollars we could go out and put a down payment on a strip mall under llc now we got power as this group we could teach other groups to do that same exact thing now we could pick the tenants that we have in there and they're going to be from our community so now we're developing entrepreneurs we have Great classes you ever heard you say. we have classes there we Great. have things that we empower our community, so now we're leaders. But then we also train other cats to do the same thing. Because we're 15, 20, we, start, we tell other people, go start your own investment group. And look at the blueprint, as Keegan said earlier. The blueprints are there. We don't trust each other enough, because guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? We put together an investment group, we make Don the treasurer, everything be like, oh, Don might take our money. Yep. Don don't need our money. And we don't want to make him the Don, I'm just, <laughs> See, I, Don that, point right that, that point right there. That part right there. That part right there. That's, that's my best friend. Yeah. And, 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 and what we don't, what we don't realize. Man. Happy birthday, Don. <laughs> Happy birthday, Don. But I, I, I vote for Don as a treasurer. Yeah. But what, what we don't realize is Jim Crow is still running rampant in our veins years after he done wow. died that's because we got that crab in the barrel Barrels. mentality. Yeah. Yeah. And as so, soon as another brother gets successful, Keith is a builder. Let's keep us in our group. Let's build a house. Let's mm -hmm. buy uh, yeah. two acres worth of land, and yeah. now we own the house. Bingo. So, Mark, can I affirm what you just said with, sure. with actual with an actual fact? So, when a when an agent comes over here and sort of nail salon, where they get the money from? 
That, no, no grants. No, no. Right. together. So, Asian lending groups. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Together. Yeah. Asian lending groups. And when, the, when the Jewish yeah. guy starts the accounting firm be or the doctor's office, we get the money from Jewish lending groups. So can we do this? Since you said it brought it up, can we all, can everybody in this room, I know we, we talk, instead of talking about it, can we put up $100? Take away. I'm no, here. take away. Real quick. We, it's done. Off camera. It's done. Done. There we go. Done. Off camera. That's all I'm going to say. And, and yeah. anybody out there, oh, yeah, if you yeah. have a group, do that the same way. Yeah. AK, you younger. How do you see leadership going forward with your generation? Uh, I feel like you have to have some people that are still a part of, I guess, the quote unquote younger community that are willing to put people in game to say, like, hey, we can't be in the same mind frame. If we want to grow. We're going to have to tap in with some people that are mentors that are role models and be on the same accord. Because it's like there obviously is a separation from generation to generation. But there's still some people in our generation I think they can attest to it too. And it's kinda like we're not all in that same mindset of like we can't reach us, we can't meet. We, we won't listen. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's enough is that it's like we can pull each other up too. So it's like we just gotta have enough people around us to say like, hey, this is the direction you want to go in. But if not, then it's kinda like then that's the disconnect of like, we're not trying to hear y'all, we're not going to listen. So AK, my, go ahead. my question to you is, does your generation uh, see the need of having mentors? Uh, I feel like a lot of that falls back on your upbringing. I feel like I, I wouldn't say I never had mentors, but I feel like I had OGs. I feel like I had people around me that's kind of like, outside of my pop and big brother, I could probably fall back on that. So it would just be the wordplay of it? Or would it be? The, the approach means a lot. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of times, true. It's like okay. the way an older generation approaches a younger generation, even if not my generation, but younger kids now, it's just kind of like y'all hate. Me. We talk down to you. Y'all talk down to yeah. me. Like, yeah. Brandon, like, you're y'all not, not trying to uplift me. I'm not, not trying to see me do better. So true. it's like you bringing me down. So it's like why wow. don't listen to you? So, Brandon, you're wow. a coach. You coach. What do you feel like your responsibility is to the next generation from a leadership perspective? What do you feel like you need to pour into the next generation in order for them to be successful? Deep question. Um, a lot of <clears throat> Talk honesty, up. honesty, transparency. Um, when I mean transparency, I, I, I have a, I don't call it a pitch because it's the truth. Um, I always tell my athletes when I recruit them, you know, your well-being is my number one priority. That's mental, emotional. Number two is your academics, um, your education. And number three is track. Um, so I'm, I just try to be as transparent, be flexible, not so rigid. Um, a lot of old school coaches are like, practice starts at three. Well, I got a lot of girls that work third shift. They two minutes late, it's fine. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to be fair, stern, but fair. Try to be flexible and show them that everything is not black and white in the world. There's a lot of gray in there. So, you know, the days of just, you know, being one way or the other way, I just try to show them that, it, you know, you got to be flexible in, in, in the world. So, Don, go ahead. So, you talk about... Talk up. You talk about us needing a specific leader within our community. I think it starts with, number one, the White House. I think you got to get all those old people out of there. Same way young people are running Google, tech world, social media. You got to get some young people in and let those guys change the whole narrative this process. You need some fresh, young minds in there. So AK and Nick, I'm sorry, running for office. City Council for Nate. Not Nate. Yeah, state legislature for AK. I'm with you. And I think, I, yeah, I definitely sense. think it needs to be a limit on your terms in office. Um, like, you know, for example, like Biden being in office for like 50, 60 years. Yeah. Like, that, seven years that's, that's, for real. I real. mean, I'm just roughly saying. But I mean that's that's crazy. I think like, no one in Congress should be in term longer than ten years. Whoever the guy that's coming behind you needs to be right. within this age. Right. You know what I mean? That's Absolutely. You first by first young people in there. Mm. So speaking of you know policy mm -hmm. and what we kind of need to do, there was a federal holiday that was passed. There's been a lot of chatter about this holiday. It's Juneteenth, and there's people that feel a certain way about this. Some people feel like it's a good thing. Some people feel like it's a just throw a bone. Exactly. Who, who passed? And I really want. Who passed the holiday? 
was it Congress or <laughs> Biden? Like who who did that? Your mark will come for your neck in a minute, bro. Is, just let it, you know. It is what it is, right? Just let now. you know. But I want to ask the question. I want to ask the question. Is Juneteenth, Juneteenth a pacifier or a step in the right direction? Now, what I want to do, because I want to get every, because I want to kind of stay on here for about 30, 40 minutes. I want to really dive into this because this, because we've, 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 we've talked about <laughs> reparations. We talked about a lot of different things on what we deserve in this country. But we got a holiday. I don't really want to go too much into what I think about it. I'm trying to stay neutral. That's I don't the first. know what I really think about it. That's the first. <laughs> really? You know, Biden said he would look out for black people. So, Mark, I'm going to come back to you first. You're OG. <laughs> Mark, listen, bro, you, you got some wisdom. Uh, I want to say that. Are you started with him? Uh, oh, I started with Mark again. No, oh, I'm going to come say, back. And I want anybody who want to get an opinion on this. Because we going to see. What's the time? with Mark. Okay. I'm going to go to Ivan. Pacifier or step in the right direction? I'm gonna be real brief. I believe any day that they're given in our direction, we'll take it and we'll use it as a stepping stone to build on it and go from mm. there. Why? Because we are, we, are, we deserve that and then some. So a step in the right direction is absolutely what it is. So we deserve that one. We deserve MLK Day that's already given to us. We deserve anything else that they're gonna give to us. And Reparation Day, when that comes, we want, it, we want all of that. What do you say to the people that says just acknowledgement doesn't pay the bills? Acknowledgement doesn't move the needle on my family. Acknowledgement doesn't change the economic structure that we currently preside in. What do you say to those people? Paid holiday. I would. Well, they sure take it when Columbus Day comes around. That's right. Yeah. And I and I would say to it's them. Paid holiday. I would say to them, step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. We take this one. Let's go for. Let's go for the next one. No let's doubt. go for the next one. Go ahead, Ivan. Don't, don't be quiet, quiet now, Ivan. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your hat, dude. Yeah. You got your. Go ahead no, now. I won't do that. Get him, Ivan. Ivan, you got a ponytail? Uh, that's a man bun. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a man bun. Chill. Man bun. Chill. Man bun. Hey, Ivan, don't worry. It's always the ball headed guy. Chill. Don't worry. It's always the ball headed guy. 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 I just, yeah. I've been cutting his hair a long time. Oh, oh, I never saw him with a ponytail before. Go ahead, Ivan. Go ahead, Ivan. That's classic. Juneteenth. I, honestly, I feel like it's a step in the right direction, but it was definitely still a pacifier at the exact same time. The reason why is because that's a holiday we've already known about. What, now that it's a paid holiday that makes it better, we're going to pay you this one day for the 400 years of slavery? Okay, congratulations. That, that doesn't seem like a big thing, a big deal. And who else gets that as a paid holiday? All of America. So, did we really gain something? We didn't really gain anything. It was a pacifier. Who did? It's who a step in the right direction, but it's still just a pacifier. Who don't think we gained anything? Well, I, I don't think we gained something because and you, and you ahead, I look, I, I look at, I look at what's called opportunity cost. So, okay. what didn't we get? Right. So, we can pass that bill through executive order, but I can't pass a voting rights bill. Right. Right. That's what I compare it to. But you can't say that. You, can. you can't say that by itself. No, actually, you can't say that by itself because you did get something. It's a, but that, no, hold here's, on, here's, let, what, let, 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 no, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Well, have you get done? You can go. You got something, but I'm looking at what I really wanted. Right. So what they would typically do is give you what they want to give you. Right. I want what I want. Right. So what if they don't give you what you want or nothing? So then but, what you got? But my point is, June, you, you got hold, nothing. Hold on. So before he passed that bill. I still went to Independence Park to celebrate. But you did. Hold you on, might have celebrated it. I still celebrated it. But you couldn't take off work for free and get paid for taking off work to celebrate it. That's true. Right. But if that was the consequence for me having a good quality of life, I got a problem with quality of life. Right? The impact is not that big. My point is they'll give you that but not give you what you truly need. I want a voting rights bill passed. Plain and simple. Mm -hmm. I want reparations. Yeah, You're saying that as as if hold on, you hold can't on. do both. No, what I was, what, I did, what they showed me is, they won't give me voting rights bill, they won't give me reparations, right? They won't give me an actual law that gives DOJ a right to actually investigate police brutality, but, but, I can get Asian hate bill passed like that. 
What you got Listen, to say? Listen, hold on, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. He pretty much nailed what I was going to say. Um, You still got many bills still on the table. You still got the Kyle Lynch bill. Yeah. Um, You said voting rights. Yeah. Uh, Reparations. I mean, the list goes on and on Fred, think about on. what you just said. There was an anti-lynching bill mm-hmm. on the docket in 2021. Mm-hmm. And it's probably, and it's like, I believe, I believe it's like at least yeah, 200 bills. Let's celebrate No, no, no. At when least, I'm, at least listen, two to 300 bills. Go ahead, oh, listen, to, quote, let, go ahead to quote my guy, to quote my guy, Mark, it's only six months. Stop it. Oh. I'm not going to like that. It's only been stop six it. months. Stop it. Oh it's only been God. six months. He has four years. No, no, Mark, do you have a response? Only four. Go ahead, Mark. I, go ahead. No, no, I do have a response. Juneteenth was an ex, um, executive order. Those are bills that are working that's their true. way through. That's the true. So we talk, we're comparing apples to oranges. That's true. So we can't do that because that's not fair. Because mm-hmm. then we become that guy that you never can make happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I said it's a step in the direction. It's not everything we want, but it's a step. Now, guess what? The nation knows about Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. I haven't said they've been going Juneteenth when it was, they was little. We was doing Juneteenth celebrations 25 yeah. years ago in New no York. So there, there were certain pockets, once again, that yeah. knew. Now none of the country knows about Everybody. it. That's good for a starting yeah. point. I'm not saying it's everything no, you're right. you need. No, I'm not arguing. You're right, you're right Mark. Unlike Tap, I wasn't digging. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Once again, you been out there. Yo, no, no. The jacket got to act different. You did. I know, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I gave you all your clock. All right. No question. It's a point, Mark. Okay. I wasn't beefing with Biden. Mm-hmm. I'm beefing with the Democratic Party. I agree with that. Right? That's my issue. The party in the Congress and in the Senate, mm-hmm. I need them to be like Republicans. Absolutely. Plain and simple. Absolutely. Explain that too. So Republicans are gangsters. Mm-hmm. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. They are they are white dudes with fake guns who do what they want when they want how they want. Mm-hmm. Democrats are more, eh, hey, let's talk about it. I don't want to talk no more, bro. No. I've been talking. We got plans for plans. That's good stuff. And can I, can I just add one thing point. to that? Yeah. Look, the thing that makes the Republican Party gangsters is they, when they get to that back office, they say, we don't care what. The insurrection, we all know what they did. Yeah, they did what they did. We're not voting on those special committees. No. Period. Not one of us. And if you break mm. ranks, then you're not down with us. Yeah, Mark. Can I, can I further for a second? That one part right there. Steve, right. Steve, right. I see something that a chick, a female, Mark, a female just got probation for being a part yeah. of the insurrection. How many of us got put in jail for just protesting police brutality? Right. Like, my point is, don't give me what you want to give me. Give me what I want. Go ahead, King. Plain and simple. Can, can I make a correction that Keith just Go said? Ahead. He said that he just corrected a statement that I made that I misspoke. He said that the Juneteenth thing went through the process, the House and the Senate. It said it passed. The Senate approved the bill unanimously. Only 14 House Republicans opposed it. So yeah, so he said it went through the whole process. Yeah, no, it was legislation. So it went through the whole legislation. Yeah. So I just wanted to correct that wow. point. He just pulled it up. That is that's major. Because what, what how do he, we what, you, he, what, you don't want, what what is what is our what is our sense of urgency? What what do we as men as uh, as protectors <laughs> of our culture? Amen. How do we demand the things that we want? Because I, I, I see us taking consolation for I don't play for consolation. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm an athlete. You're a, cha- you're a champion. I don't do participation trophies. No doubt. <laughs> Keep it the band. I don't. But don't. You like listen, Luka. But you like Luca. If I lose, I feel terrible. You like Luca. I'll be like, at least I play this. You like Luca. No. You give him a train of superstar. I know. But, but essentially, <laughs> this is a- <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you really like to win? (laughs) But I want to win. Our competitive nature has been turned into a place to where we don't compete for things like this. We're competing in sports for them. We're competing in hurting each other. Why don't we compete for the things that further our families? Why don't we demand absolute, unadulterated excellence? When was that time we shed blood? Mm. That's a different. I can't talk oh, about wow. this on here. No, that's, that's that's really. But it's. Problem. But mm. what I'm. But you can I, be in the Middle East, I'm man. Good. You can be in the Middle good. East. You can be in Israel, Tel Aviv. They shed blood, blood every day. Yep. For their freedom, for the little ounce of freedom they got, they shed blood every day. Thirteen year olds are in the military over there. You understand? Like we have it twisted over here. If you're not gonna give up life, yeah, we're gonna continue that. to screw us every single day. Amen. And that's, I, what, I, that's really our problem. My problem is, as men, we're not going to stand up 
and shed blood for even for our own families. We're not. Wow, here. cap. I'm a, for I'm our own families, family. we won't do I'm that. I'm down for my family. You would. Well, you yeah. would. I don't know a man. You would. would. See, that's what I'm saying. King, you would. King, we, well, we your bubble, talk, your bubbles in the room, Steve. Okay. Your bubbles in the who room. Else can I, who else am I responsible for? You and yours. That's, that's it. So what I'm saying is, is that. But that it's not a cap. It's not a cap. Well, well, I, I don't know a hood nigga. I don't know anybody. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say niggas. Um, <laughs> yeah, he did. You mean you're Negro. Yeah, he did. Turn, I don't know a man with a child. I don't know a man who didn't, won't even take care of his child. They won't lose, lay down his life Steve, for it. there's a lot of suckers out here. It, it is really some suckers is. out here. But I don't know if they went around their life for their kid. All I'm saying is this. You would be surprised. All I'm saying is this. I don't wanna. I don't like the comparison between other countries and us. But that's why we do no, show. No, 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 hold, 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 they shed blood. So let's do they drop, did. Let, let's do statistics. They did. How many people in here would die for their family? Hey, raise your hand. How many people in here would die for their family? You see the percentages? Everybody in this room would. How many people would die for a cause, though? A lot of people would if it came down. But let's be, uh, let's guys, if we if we gonna talk authentic, if we gonna be real, I get with you. If you gonna be real, if it came down to life or death, we don't. We're, guys, we we evolved to the point we don't face life or death situations. We don't face life or death situations. But 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 when it was going down in Charlotte, when, when the George Floyd thing happened, people was in the streets. Not People shit. was in the street. To a, to a, to a no, 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 no. They, 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 they get out of there, bro. Come on now. I'm not. I'm not gonna discount protesters. I'm not gonna discount them. There's people out there who really put their life on the line. But, but the struggle. I think the struggle was different in the city. It was. You can't ride on the front of the bus. You can't go in these bathrooms. You can't drink out of these water fountains. Now, that's not to say police brutality exists. We all know that. Yeah. But that's not an everyday in your no. face thing. Back then, oh, you were talking about it. Oh, oh Brandon. It, 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 it is. It is. But I, I, I hadn't been. I hadn't been. I hadn't seen it. And on tomorrow, life. Life or death. Street. Life or death. Yeah. Look, can, can I can, uh, one go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am a. I am a law-abiding citizen. When the cop gets behind me, without lights, I'm shook sure dead. Oh yeah. I'm shook. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I and I follow the law. Right. So it is in my face. See, what happens is we, we, we discount subtlety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that's a good. Point. We discount subtlety. Mm -hmm. Right. So just that one element makes me lesser than. But agree. My whole point is in the 60s, when it was not subtle. True. It was in your face calling you the N word mm -hmm. every day. We ain't, oh, we not going through this. Let's, 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 come on now. So my whole, my whole point is, I'm Ooh. not saying not to my face. Ooh. They be, they can be, they so, gonna so, be so, can, 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 so, can, can, Brent, let me help you with something. Yeah, they can do it let, indirectly, let me, but like I said, subtle. Let me help you with yes. something. It, what you don't get is they change the chess pieces. Oh no, I. So don't, don't mistake what's going on in terms of, in terms of what they're doing compared to 1960. Oh, right? no, trust me. I know it exists. Okay. But my whole point is, it exists in a way where, okay, we know what they're saying, but you can't respond the way that you want to respond, mm -hmm. not on a daily basis. Come on now, we will be jobless, half of us. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, What's wrong with that? that? No, I mean, it depends on what, you know, I saw you tap. I saw you tap. I'm going to come back I'll to you. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got to wrap it up. Go ahead, tap. Go ahead, no, tap. No, no. Hold on. No, we don't. Stop this, Steve. Keep going, Tap. <laughs> tap, you have something to say. Put oh, yeah. your jacket on. Go ahead. Put your jacket on. Once again, let me give a shout out to my guy, <laughs> King <Kate> Jordan. <laughs> being my the family. whole week. He's my time. Advertising this. Right. Time. That's what's up, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, for sure. Yo. But no. Um, We're going to send a check. I mean, there is some validity to that right there. I mean, we do have jobs. We do have situations. Um, like I said, I will go out on the line and say I will definitely die for my family before a cause. I don't know. And so, and, and let, let me let me let me. I don't put that on the same. And, and, and so let me let me do. No, okay, hold on. I tell you why he says that because he does not believe that you will be right there with him. Oh. That's the difference. Not you. Not, not you. And, and I guarantee you. I know this man. 
I guarantee right. you, if everybody was standing there with him from those fire yeah. hoses, he'd be right there with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when we don't show him that particular unity, why would he? That's why the Jews get what they get. But they're together. Yes. They're together. Huh? And, and yeah. And that's why the Mexicans and the Asians are I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, so let me wrap. So let me go here. I don't think that's because the Jews and the, and the I don't like to compare them to us. Wow. They did not do. They did not go through the same stuff that we went through. Oh, wow. They absolutely did not. No, they did. They did. They don't have the same. Listen, I'm not measuring their struggle. I'm just validating ours and saying that. Listen. In a, I'm not talking about what happened in the Holocaust. I'm not talking about what happened in Mexico. I'm talking about what happened on American soil. And the whole thing with this whole conversation has been us being together, working together. And Tap kind of highlighted a point to my conclusion is that we have to get to the point to where we trust the relationship of black men with each other. We have to begin to stop believing that if we just get it, we made it. If you, the only person in your circle that's getting it, you have a problem, my guy. Absolutely. If you're the only person that's thriving, there's something about you that you need to look within. I don't know True. that thing because I don't, I don't judge a man. I don't know the man. Mm -hmm. Everybody around us should be thriving. Everybody around you, Keegan, should have some sense of business. They do. Hold on. Don't, no, don't no, call no, me no, out. No, they no. do. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> that easy. Everybody that desires. That desires. Even, <laughs> even the ones that is listen, good. we pull the ones along that don't even want to come along because it's our responsibility. They may not ever make it to the promised land. They may not get there. They may slap your hands off. But it's still our responsibility because at the end of the day, I want you to hear this, Deep Surface listeners. Please subscribe. Listen. It's up to us, the men in this room. It's up to people who listen to this podcast to understand that we are the change we want to see. No question. No matter, we've disagreed with a lot of things in this room, but we wasn't disagreeable. True, mm -hmm. and we were respectful. We didn't see yeah. every situation the same, but there's still a commonality in that. Yes. People who were supposed to be on camera still got on camera, but we allowed it. <laughs> hey, listen, hold up. So I know, right? right I'm just a back in the insult, man. That's a back in the compliment, bro. Man, yeah. you want something else. I don't else. even know what to say about this. You want something else. We've had an epic episode. Yo. Man, listen, man. Listen, these guys are highly opinionated. This Tap is something else. one of the most electric episodes. It's only episode three. I love you, bro. I love, I love you. you, too. I, I don't even you, know what episode 13 will look like. But listen, keep God first. You know and you subscribe do. to the Deep Surface Podcast. Yeah, yeah. We out, baby. Yeah, cut it, man. Yeah, put it down.